Welcome back. As many as 15,000 people from around the world came to the Arizona Capitol yesterday to pay their respects to Senator John McCain. Today, a memorial service will be held in Phoenix, where more of his friends, family, and colleagues will pay tribute to him. CBS's John Schumo has the details. Late into the evening, Senator John McCain's children thank those who came to the Arizona State Capitol to pay their respects to their father. This is so incredible that you are all here. It really is, and I really appreciate it. Throughout the day, thousands of people from around the world waited in 105 degree heat to say a final goodbye. So respectful to be in the presence of someone that served our country for 30 years was just amazing. On what would have been his 82nd birthday, Cindy McCain, his wife of 38 years, and his seven children gathered for an emotional private service. Imagining Arizona without John McCain is like picturing an Arizona without the Grand Canyon. Today, a public memorial service will be held for McCain, where former Vice President Joe Biden will pay tribute. Some of the dear friends that I have are on the other side of the aisle. My beloved friend Joe Biden, he and I fight. Oh, we used to fight. But we were friends. And when it came time to settle something because we were of goodwill, we could get it, it settled and resolved. Also speaking is Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. I had a wonderful relationship with him and his family for quite a while, and he's been a wonderful mentor to me. I, I can't tell you how uh, how honored I am to be able to you know go up there and say a few words uh, about a man that everybody loves and respects. After the service, McCain's body will be taken to Washington for a viewing at the U.S. Capitol. John Schumo, CBS News. There will be a service at the Washington National Cathedral on Saturday. Then McCain will be buried at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland.